the new Earth paradigm, we hold a participatory, interconnected worldview. We begin to perceive the individual parts themselves and the interrelations of the parts within a holistic relational system. We start to realize that the organization is not actually a machine. It is an emergent adaptive system that is continuously sensing and responding to its ever-changing environment. Welcome to Pure Element 5. My name's Suzanne, and today's epiphany came from realizing that design is a powerful tool to change the world. So why not design a future that works better for all of us instead of just some of us? As we perceive this living organization, we also begin to see that it thrives by enlivening all of its stakeholders and creating flourishing futures for all of life. Words have power, and in systems thinking, we use specific words that intentionally define a different set of actions to mainstream thinking. By the end of this video, you'll learn six systems thinking fundamentals. At a time when the entire world is up for reinvention, complexity, ambiguity, and uncertainty call for innovative systems of thinking, leadership, and design. Systems thinking requires a shift in our perception of the world around us to see holes, interrelationships and patterns of change rather than static snapshots of individual parts. From this perspective, we can determine the point of highest leverage, the places in the system where a small change can make a huge impact. Interconnectedness Systems thinking requires a shift in mindset away from linear to circular. The fundamental principle of this shift is that everything is interconnected. Everything counts, everything matters. Everything is reliant upon something else for survival. Humans need food, air and water to sustain our bodies, and trees need carbon dioxide and sunlight to thrive. Synthesis Synthesis refers to the combining of two or more things to create something new. In systems thinking, the goal is synthesis as opposed to analysis, which is the dissection of complexity into manageable components. All systems are dynamic and often complex, which means we need a more holistic approach to understanding phenomena. Synthesis is about understanding the whole and the parts at the same time, along with the relationships and the connections that make up the dynamics of the whole. Essentially, synthesis is the ability to see interconnectedness. Emergence We know that larger things emerge from smaller parts. Emergence is the natural outcome of things coming together. In the most abstract sense, emergence describes the universal concept of how life emerges from individual biological elements in diverse and unique ways. Emergence is the outcome of the synergies of the parts. It's about non-linearity and self-organization. In this way, emergence is the outcome of things interacting together. Feedback loops since everything is interconnected, there are constant feedback loops and flows between the elements of a system. We can observe, understand and intervene in the feedback loops once we understand their type and dynamics. The two main types of feedback loops are reinforcing and balancing. Reinforcing within a feedback loop is not usually a good thing. This happens when elements in a system reinforce more of the same, such as algae growing exponentially in a pond. A balancing feedback feedback loop, however, is where elements within the system balance things out. Nature has this down to an art with the predator-prey situation. Causality Understanding feedback loops is about gaining perspective of causality, how one thing results in another thing in a dynamic and constantly evolving system. All systems are dynamic and constantly changing in some way. This is the very essence of life. Causality in systems thinking is about cause and effect. It's being able to decipher the way things influence each other in a system. Understanding causality leads to a deeper perspective on emergence, feedback loops, connections and relationships, which are all fundamental parts of systems mapping. Systems mapping 
Systems mapping is one of the key tools of a systems thinker. There are many ways to map, from analog cluster mapping to complex digital feedback analysis. However, the fundamental principles and practices of systems mapping are universal. We identify and map the elements of things within the system to understand how they interconnect, relate, and act in the complex system. From here, unique insights and discoveries can be used to develop interventions, shifts, or policies that will dramatically change the system in the most effective way. If you thought this was pure engagement, please give us a thumbs up. And if you thought it was pure poo, feel free to give us a thumbs down. It helps us create the content you want to see. The links are down below if you want to catch us on other mediums, along with a link to our website so you can download our free ebook. Until we meet again, the essence of who you truly are is pure love. Go out and connect with someone and show them the love.